Hey everyone, today I've got a tutorial for you on how to install a custom pump top onto a Swiftec MCP35X PC water cooling pump. Now this video can apply to any of the MCP35X series of pumps, so the MCP350 and the MCP355. Now these pumps have been rebadged by a number of different companies so basically if the pump looks the same as this with another name on it this guide will apply to that pump because they are basically exactly the same so here I have a bits power clear acrylic pump top very nice looking pump top it's got some LED holes for five millimeter LEDs one in the front and also one in the back. It's got G1 quarter inch threads, one on the top and one at the front. Now there's a lot of different companies that make different custom pump tops for this particular pump. So when you're choosing your pump top make sure you have a good look around and find exactly what you like the most. There's a whole range of different shapes and sizes and colors. So there's a number of reasons for installing a custom pump top or modification kit onto a pump. The main reasons really are to improve performance, flow and pressure, but also to improve the looks of the pump, the aesthetics, and also in some cases to make it smaller to fit into tighter areas. Also, some pumps might just have barbs and not have threads. So, in that case, you wouldn't be able to use the fittings you might want to use, such as compression fittings. So, in this case, this new pump top will improve the aesthetics. It will give you the ability to install some LEDs and you'll be able to see the color of the coolant you're running. Okay, so the first step to installing a new custom pump top onto your pump is obviously removing the old one. Now if I turn this over you can see there is four Allen key bolts which need to be removed and there is one little problem. There's a warranty void if removed sticker. Now I'm not sure if all pumps have this if all companies will void your warranty if you remove your pump top. This is just something you'll have to take into consideration and decide if you want to go ahead with. Okay, so time to remove the Allen key bolts. Okay, so once the bolts are removed, pump top just comes straight off. And now you can see the insides of the pump. So there's the inside of the old top there and you've got an o-ring. Now this is very important. Now in some cases your new pump top will come with a new o-ring and if that's the case you need to use that new o-ring. If not then using the old one is not a problem. You can actually get different colored o-rings from Bits Power. These are red UV reactive o-rings. I know they look very pink. This pump top comes with four new screws. They're quite different to the old ones. Okay, so make sure the o-ring is in place correctly and then just place your new pump top on top of the pump, line the holes up and then obviously just put the screws up from the bottom. Make sure you keep pressure on the pump and the pump top hold them together otherwise the o-ring might slip out of position and if that's the case you'll end up like splitting the o-ring squashing it in the wrong place and you'll get leaks and then you also may not be able to use it again okay so time to tighten up these screws okay don't tighten the screws all the way in straight away Make sure that when you get to the point where you're just starting to put a slight amount of pressure onto the o-ring, you first tighten two screws diagonally to each other. About half a turn at a time, you then go around 
tightening each screw so that you get even pressure between the pump and the pump top. And you really don't need to tighten them much at all. Keep in mind that both the pump housing and the pump top are plastic. or well, the pump top's acrylic. And the O-ring squashes a long way, so I mean you only need the slightest amount of pressure on the O-ring and it will only already start sealing the pump to the pump top. So now that it's installed I'll just give you a little bit of a look around. You can see it gives a much nicer aesthetic to the pump. I'll remove that sticker completely. So that sums up this video. Please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Thanks everyone.